Yo, still bills. What's the deal, man? Yo, I'm at Sam's Club. I still got another 20 minutes before they open, man. So we got a politic about what I saw yesterday. So peep game, man. Um, listen, man. The um, the zone is really cultivating some good talent, man. Patty Donovan, I was like, yeah, I, I watched him yesterday on the um, Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron on undercard, man. That dude, I was, I was really impressed with what I saw. Um. Jack Cully is I, I'm kind of in the I'm kind of in the gray area with you know with Jack Cully man I just I, you know just I don't know man I I think you know he gets repetitive in the combination you know in his punch selection and I don't and I just think that sometimes the right punch the punch that he needs to throw he just refuses to throw the dude kept coming I don't know who I forget what the dude's name was that he was fighting he kept coming in low just begging for the uppercut he just kept throwing the hook. Why are you throwing a hook, man? Every time he dips, stand him up. And he just would not do He would do it once, maybe twice, and then abandon it. I'm still in that gray area with Patty. Uh, not Patty, but uh Cully. I'm still, I'm still, I'm, I'm still, I'm still in that gray area with Cully. But we gotta I, I'll dive into that on another video, man. We, I want to really get into the main event, and that is Katie fucking Taylor's, bro. Shout out to Katie Taylor, man. She is the fucking truth. She is the truth. She's arguably the greatest woman, female fighter of all time, bro. Like, we, we, I, I don't, I had a few people get on my comments yesterday, talk, you know, talk to me about Clarissa Shields. Oh, Clarissa Shields, Clarissa Shields, three times the division, I just be the world champion. Uh, you can't, you know, Clarissa Shields' accomplishments are undeniable, man, but when you're fighting for vacants and pulling a lot of those girls up to win that vacant, you know, that, you know, that, that, that says a lot. That says now she had some great wins and shit. That fight that went over um Savannah Marshall, I think, was her career defining win right there. That was a really good win. Marty Sella Cornejo was a good win. Like she's had she's definitely had some good wins. French on Cruz, that that win a, a, aged well. It aged really well. French on Cruz went on to become undisputed. That aged really well. So she has some incredible wins. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. I'm not I, I'm not taking shots at Clarissa. But Katie Taylor is fighting in deeper divisions, man. Like I think, you know, just who was it? Um I forget one of the girls, you know, one of the girls who uh, who Clarissa fought was like eleven and eight in the division. Like not division, but her uh, you know, her her record was like eleven and eight. And she was ranked second in the division. And, you know, this is the type of caliber, you know, not all of the fighters, of course, but just that just speaks volumes to who it is. Like, yo, 11 and 8, you rank number two in the division. Like, what is it saying about this division? What is it saying? You dig the talent pool just isn't as deep up there in those divisions because just naturally women. Now, granted, there's a multitude. Of, I'm only five foot eight. So there's a multitude of women who are taller than me. But the um, just naturally just. You know, the average height between men and women vary. Like, I, you know, my height is tall for a girl. Like, damn, she tall as shit. You was like, damn, she tall as shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and not every, you know, just when you get up there, you know, you get up there in them divisions, man. A lot of chicks ain't trying to get up there and rumble because, you know, just the size differential, man. Like, that shit ain't no joke when you get up there. It ain't, you know, we really, yo, these are some big girls right here that I got to stand in front of and fight. A lot of chicks ain't really trying to deal with that type of um. They're not trying to deal with that shit, as they shouldn't be. As they shouldn't be, man. You dig? But the point is, girls don't grow that big on average to the point where. And I mean, they girls just don't be trying to get all the way up. You know, just they just like nah. Just the the the, the average height, but you know, the average height between men and where men men and women vary so much. You dig? You're gonna get a lot more shorter girls than you're gonna get taller girls. <clears throat> and girls who, you know, yeah, that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. That, you know, biology. Can't ignore biology. You dig? Even though society is trying their damages too, you can't ignore it. So the point is, the divisions are richer with talent in the smaller divisions. When you drop 154 pounds, everything up under 154, I'll say damn near 100, maybe past 147, you know, I think that's where you really start to see an abundance of talented fighters as far as female fighters are concerned. And those are the kind of fighters that Taylor, Katie Taylor has been fighting in. 
two-time undisputed world champion, two different divisions. That is dope. And she's jumping up to fight these fighters, man. She didn't tell Cameron. I don't want to say bullied her in the first fight, but she, you know, just, you know, you know, certain, fight, you know, your fighting identity is ingrained in you. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you go professional. So who you are, the, 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 the customs that you take into a fight with you, that's going to carry with you even when you jump up and wait. It's going to carry with you unless you just that thorough and stand down, you know, stomp down. On, you know, the ability to make adjustments. Katie Taylor made an in-fight adjustment in the last fight with Chantel Cameron, or the first fight with, the, you know, with Chantel Cameron, and it paid dividends, but it just didn't pay enough dividends to get her the title. She bit down a little bit more on her gum shield. She stood in the pocket a lot better. She wasn't tap dancing from the outside and consistently using the lateral movement to try to walk her into traps. You know, half steps back off the jab. Time to counter. One, two, three. Hook off the turn. Get back to the middle of the ring. If she got too close, smother. Just brilliant work from Katie Taylor. Brilliant work. And that knockdown should have been ruled a knockdown. We got to be real about it. That, night, that that first round, she got dropped with a jab. Now, granted, she did step on her foot. She did step on her foot. Cameron did step on her foot. <clears throat> but she did touch, touch her with the jab. That should have been ruled a knockdown. I'm not mad at that. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't have, you know, I, I I think it should have been ruled a knockdown, man. But just her ability to make those adjustments, man. Kate, she was just faster and sharper than Chantel Cameron. She was faster. She was sharper. She was a lot more astute with her counter punching, man. And just, you know, like I was getting a little aggy because I'm like, yo, Chantel is still landing big shots, bro. That's a big girl. Big, you know, really big jabs. The uppercut was landing like a motherfucker later on in the fight. But the jab was really bothering me because I'm like, yo, you got to, you know, your hands are low. I get it. You're a slickster. You're trying to invite her in to set her up to, you know, with the, you know, with the straight left down the pike. But you can't afford to keep getting hit by this big old girl. You can't afford that. And she was flying Katie Taylor's head with them jabs. Bah, bah, bah. I'm like, yo, get your hands up. You can't, the shit that you're doing in, in smaller divisions, you can't do in this division because you're in there with a bigger woman. You're in there with a bigger woman. Get your hands up, protect your face, protect your chin so you don't get caught with no bullshit. But she stayed on her toes. She stayed on her toes. She stayed composed. She didn't panic. Every time she get on the ropes, she had an exit strategy. She got off of the ropes. But it was just really what it is that she was doing was just, you know, three punch combinations, one, two, three. And she, you know, she check hook and spin off of that turn and get back to the middle of the ring. That was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant work. Brilliant work. Not spending so much time tap dancing from the outside. And eventually she started pushing Chantel Cameron back. Eventually she started pushing her back. To where it maybe not from a physicality standpoint, but it's just like, all right, yo, like I have to find another uh, another entry. I have to find another way to advance on this girl because every time I step in, she's counter, she's countering my jab. She's countering my jab. Or even she was leading, bro. She had moments where she was leading in the fight. She was leading the dance. <laughs> She just really put on a brilliant performance in there, man. Just these women really need to be revered, all of them. Clarissa included. As much as a dickhead as she is, she needs to be revered because they go in here and they give us the fights that we are paying to see. They're giving us that. So Katie, Ta I mean, just last night was just a really brilliant performance, man. And then I think after a while, it was like when Golovkin fought um, Danny Jacobs. After he got dropped, he was like, yo, I felt the power now. I ain't tripping. Let's get it. Fuck it. Let's get it. Chantel Cameron, uh, Katie felt Chantel's power. And she was just like, all right, cool. I I've been here before. Now, I've been in here about 15 rounds with you. Let's just get into, let's get into it. Bit down on the gum shield and just started swinging for the fences, man. Just started swinging with the fences. You know, planted her feet. Was stand getting a little bit complacent in the pocket. And I was really worried about that. I was really worried about that. Like, nah, don't, don't stand there with her. And as this is happening, she's landing, you know, three and up, three and four uppercuts in a row. I'm like, God damn. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. They was mean uppercuts, too. You've seen her listening to hip hop. Bah, bah. God damn. Sure to get out the pocket, man. Don't stand there with her. Don't stand there with her. She kind of went in there. She didn't debo her, but she started trying to debo her. And she was, ha she, she was having success. She was having success. 
you dig? He got used to the power and so he was a lot more reluctant to not enter the pocket, bro. Like that was an incredible performance from from Casey Taylor last night, man. That I don't you know, um I was on Jules panel and I was listening to what he had to say. And um he said he, you know, he thought he had it a draw. I didn't see it that way. I was kind of in agreement with the judges scorecards on this one. I thought Katie was pretty dominant in that fight, especially early on. Even in the rounds where Katie was getting touched a lot more, she was outworking Chantel Cameron. She was landing a lot more um, the, the cleaner work. Chantel Cameron was just hitting her harder. She was hitting her harder because the girl can punch. Like, I'm looking at Katie's face. I was like, I'm like, damn. Damn, <laughs> that girl got bricks in her hands, man. And they need to run that back. We need we, now we we need we, we need the tiebreaker. We definitely need the tiebreaker. We definitely need the tiebreaker in Ireland. We need that. That was a damn good fight, man. Shout out to Chantel Cameron. Shout out to Katie Taylor, man. They yo, shout out to women's boxing, bro. Shout out to women's boxing. I miss Sky Nicholson. I didn't get to watch that fight. I got you know um. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing, but I'm like, oh shit, they yo, the the fight might be the fight should be on. I may have been playing 2K or something, and I got to the fight too late. So I only been I I I, I got on the, I want to say the second or third round with uh Patty Donovan. That's when I turned the fight on. <clears throat> but shout out to women's boxing, man. Um Alicia Baumgartner is vindicated and these, you know, erroneous claims that she's pop dirty because she's well defined in her arms. Shout out to women's boxing, man. I, I fucking love these girls, bro. They are, they are doing what if it, man. If if Eddie Hearn keeps pushing for women's boxing the way that he's pushing for women's boxing, women's boxing is gonna fuck around and be like women's MMA. Because a woman, a, you know, when Ronda Rousey was at her peak, she was headlining, doing wild drag out numbers. Women's boxing has a potential to get there in the next five years or so if Eddie Hearn keeps pursuing it the way that he's pursuing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this shit, man. I'm, I'm digging this shit. But shout out to Katie Taylor. Shout out to Chantel Cameron. I think after this, it may be time for Katie Taylor to hang him up. Go ahead and get this trilogy out the way. And, yo, you have nothing else to, you have nothing else to prove after this. Two division, undisputed world champion. The caliber of fighter that you done beat, Jessica McCaskill, styled on baby. Love Jessica McCaskill. Beautiful woman. Styled on her. Delphine Pursun styled on her in the rematch. Styled on her. Amanda Serrano. You didn't style on her. You didn't style on her. You beat her though. You dig this Chantel Cameron win is big because you jumped up to do it. That was that's big, Brody. That is that's that's big. You know, I, I man, I, I've been, I, man. I'm late to the party of that is female fighting, a female boxing, women's boxing. So I missed a lot of uh, Katie Taylor's career, but man, 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 what I've saw over these past few years, I'm fucking with Katie Taylor, bro. She might be the goat. She I, she might be the goat. She might be the fucking goat, dude. <laughs> that girl's bad. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that rematch. With uh, Eddie said around spring or so, around about spring next year, get that rematch going. They need the, or not the rematch, but the trilogy. We need that. And I, st- I mean, shit, we may need, we may, we could possibly squeeze another Amanda Serrano fight out of Katie Taylor because I think that fight right there is a fight that should take place as well. That's a fight right there that should take place as well. There was a lot of promotion behind the first one, and that was a success. I think we can do just that. That's just a rematch with them two can be just as successful. And then Katie Taylor can ride off into the sunset. She ain't got nothing else to, you know, nothing else to prove. Nothing else to prove. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how I'm feeling about it, man. Shout out to Katie Taylor. Shout out to Chantel Cameron. I'm wait, I'm, I can't wait to see what's next, man. Um, I'm about to run up in the store and do what I do. I'll get with y'all later. Y'all be easy, yo. Stay warm out there to my fellow Nebraskans. Deuces.